Hi students, so I'm here to talk about the NSE exam and what you can do to prepare yourself for the NSE exam and what we can do to help you prepare for NSE exam. So I'm going to talk about all these three things. Let's have a look. So, बच्चों जो लोग मुझे नहीं जानते उन लोगों के लिए या so guys my name is Vikas Agarwal ठीक है आप लोगों की मैं NSE के लिए पहले मैं KVPI के लिए और अब NSE के लिए हम लोग वीडियोस बनाते हैं संडे को ये वीडियो जो है प्रीमियर होते हैं I hope many of you already know about these videos if not then please check them out here on the VUS channel you will find fabulous theory fabulous content things which are not usually covered in the class they are covered every Sunday we post videos of physics chemistry maths and biology so you can check them out all right and who am I guys my name is Vikas Agarwal I've done B.Tech in Aerospace Engineering from IIT Kharagpur. I graduated in the year 2008 and after that I've been in teaching industry only. I've been teaching for IIT JEE. So this would be my 15th year of teaching. So that is about my profile. Now in today's session what are we going to do like uh, what is this uh, session all about? So guys I'm going to tell you about the NSE exam. Alright. So this year the NSE exam is going to be conducted on November 27th. The dates are out. Okay, and uh, the syllabus for the exam is grade 11th and grade 12th syllabus. So basically, whatever comes in the JE, uh, that uh, everything will be part of that. Okay, and uh, there are different stages of this exam. I'll quickly tell you about those stages and then we'll see what you can do to prepare for that exam. All right, so the different stages include the first stage, which is the national standard exam. Okay, so this exam is conducted in physics also, in chemistry also. Uh, in biology also in astronomy also so if you want to appear in the olympiad of any examination this is the first uh, step all right except of maths olympiad so you give the national standard exam and from this exam about 300 students are shortlisted and they are made to write the next stage which is the indian national olympiad all right so it would be indian national physics olympiad indian national uh, indian uh, na national chemistry olympiad similarly for astronomy and biology all right, after this stage, this is the written exam. Once you clear this stage, then around 30 students are selected for orientation come selection camp. So uh, 30 students will be shortlisted and uh, uh, you will be called uh, in offline mode and then you will be trained. You will be made to do some experiments. You will be taught some theories. And out of those group of uh, 30 students, about five to six students are selected to represent India in international Olympiad. And those five, six students, they undergo the pre-departure training camp so basically once they have selected the five six students then those five six students are trained so that they can compete with international students with uh, the other countries contingent okay and then you go to fight for international olympiad so this is the first stage that we are right now discussing okay now uh, i'll tell you what you can do to prepare yourself like uh, from today onwards till november 27 what can be a good strategy to target this exam so first of all, I would like to mention here that uh, this exam is something not that you decide to write this exam today and you start preparing today and you can do that. No, people who actually target this exam, they have been preparing for the past two years, for the past one and a half years, if not two years. And they are probably somewhere at a stage where their 11th and 12th curriculum is about to get finished. All right. So such students have a realistic chance of cracking this examination. Okay. So what you guys should be doing in the next uh, 60 days. So this is a schedule that I have made. I'll give you the logic of my schedule. All right. If you agree with that logic, you can choose to stick to the schedule. If you don't agree with this, of course, you can tweak it. And if you don't agree with uh, any of it, then of course, you can uh, just make your own schedule. So guys, in the first week, I have kept a gravitation heat transfer. So I've tried to keep a balance of 11th grade and 12th grade. So we begin with gravitation heat transfer, electrostatics and current electricity. Now, why these topics? So these are the first topic of 12th grade and I'm pretty sure that many of you have already completed these topics like irrespective of where you are studying in which institute you are studying in which school you are studying or you are doing self study I'm pretty sure that by now you must have completed these chapters of 12th grade and electrostats is pretty similar to gravitation it will help you if you revise gravitation along with electrostats similarly heat transfer is very very similar to current electricity at least half part of heat transfer like uh, heat transfer comprises of two parts the conduction part and the radiation part the conduction part is pretty similar to current electricity. So when you revise these two chapters along with these two chapters, it actually helps you to remember all four uh, in a nice manner. All right. So week one, you should do this. You should revise these chapters. And how you are going to revise this? For your 11th grade chapters, you should revise your notes copy. You should revise all the examples that were done in your class uh, from wherever you studied. Uh, uh, check those examples again. Uh, then 
uh, when you have studied these topics in your 11th grade, you must have practiced these chapters from somewhere, from some book, from some material. All right. So open that material again, whatever you used to practice these chapters, open that again, check the questions that you were not able to do in your first attempt. And uh, you must have marked those problems, right? So you check those questions, only the ones in which you were stuck when you tried uh, the problems for the first time, check them out again. All right. And then you have to try a fresh set of problems for these chapters. So that would be the general strategy to revise anything. All right. So week one would be this. Now week two, I would say that you revise Newton's laws of motion, friction and capacitance. Again, uh, capacitance, you will find it easier after having studied current electricity and Newton's law is something that I'm pretty sure that you guys uh, find it fascinating. And why we are keeping Newton's law in the second week? Because it is going to form the basis of many of the questions that you're going to do in the subsequent chapter. So uh, it makes sense that you revise it uh, in the beginning of your revision. All right, then week three, again, uh, chapter of 11th, uh, chapter of 12th, we are proceeding in sequence, like 11th grade and 12th grade, we are trying to keep the, maintain the sequence. Uh, again, why am I trying to do that? Because uh, as you will progress uh, ahead in weeks, more and more your 12th chapter are uh, going to get covered. So therefore, so then uh, for week three, these two, week four, Week 4, I have not included any 12th chapter. Why is that? Because these two topics, the center of mass and collision and uh, rotational uh, motion, these two topics are bulky topics of 11th grade. You will want to dedicate ample amount of time to these chapters. So in week 4, no chapter of 12. Also, we want to delay the chapters of 12 because I'm pretty sure that uh, there would be uh, places where uh, chapters after this, that is electromagnetic induction and uh, alternating currents, they may not be covered yet. So it's better that we devote the fourth week to 11th grade chapters and then we try to cover the chapters from 12th grade that is electromagnetic induction. Then we will do kinematics also again uh, in this chapter you will find uh, enough role of kinematics. So I've included kinematics with EMI then alternating currents. Alternating currents is pretty similar to simple harmonic motion. So we should club them together. All right. And then ray optics, kinetic theory of gases. These two are pretty dissimilar but uh, why I have kept them together is because this is a pretty independent chapter. Like you will not find too many questions of ray optics getting mixed with another chapters. All right. So pretty independent chapter in itself where problems are framed on an independent basis. Same goes with this chapter. They are pretty much independent. Okay. Uh, you will not find the concepts of these chapters getting mixed with concepts of other chapters. So independent chapters. So we'll cover them in week seven. In week eight, we'll cover wave optics and then uh, along with wave optics, it makes sense that we cover uh, the waves of 11th grade also. So I've kept that uh, uh, along with fluids and thermal expansion. Of course, uh, uh, we'll have to cover everything in 10 weeks. So we'll have to uh, include few more chapters here. And then in week 9, uh, I would say that you do this dual nature of matter, atomic structure, X-rays, nuclear physics, 12th grade topics along with semiconductor. So week 9 is all about 12th grade. Why? Again, because these are the end, end chapters of 12th grade. So. Uh, we want to delay them as much as we can so that it gets covered in the institute where you are studying right now. And week 10 should all be about the tests and the previous year's papers of NSE. So guys, this is, I'll show it again. So week 1, week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5, week 6, week 7, week 8, week 9, week 10. So this is, uh, you can say a skeletal uh, schedule that you can, um, uh, that you can stick to. You can tweak it based on uh, your constraints, based on your preferences based on what you think will be uh, good for you. You can tweak it, you can modify it all together. That is up to you. But this is what I'm going to suggest. Um, if the revision is done uh, pretty comprehensively, then you have will, you will have a decent chance of cracking NSE. Now, this is about the general strategy that any aspirant can follow. Uh, now the question is, uh, how can Vedantu help you in, in cracking this exam? So guys, uh, right now, we are running a batch of around 10 to 12 students and we are preparing them for NSE. Now, needless to say that these 10 to 12 students are pretty extraordinary and it's a super elite batch. So uh, no one can become part of this batch just by paying the fees. In fact, uh, there is no fee to be paid. All right, like uh, we are not charging anything for this batch except merit. The student must be meritorious to be a part of this batch. Okay. So, uh, which basically means that you cannot just go to vedantu.com and look for this batch and pay the fees and join this batch. Uh, unlike the other batches, unlike other paid batches, this batch will not be visible on vedantu.com. All right. It is a batch which is running from behind. Like, um, so if you want to be part of this batch, we thought of uh, why not let our students, like I've seen many, many of you have been responding to the questions, the teasers that we present in our session that we take on Sunday, like all the sessions that we are taking on Sunday, 
we share teasers in most of our session and we ask students to respond to those teasers and send us email uh, the solution uh, their solution in email and many times i find the solutions pretty fascinating pretty good and i try to revert to as much students as i can may to many of the students i have reverted also i hope feel if you are watching that you you can relate probably so uh, i through these solutions i realized i discovered that our audiences at this particular channel at vus channel they are pretty good in terms of what they know their knowledge and their willingness to uh, to do that extra effort all right so we thought that it would be a good idea to invite some of you to join this batch and uh, how you can join this batch guys be so this is it's a two step process step 1 would be to clear an entrance test which is going to be quite difficult let me assure you of that all right and once you clear the test then you will be shortlisted for an interview once you clear the interview then you, we, we are going to make you part of this batch all right having said that guys it will be preferred that if you are a dummy student like if you are not uh, if your school commitment is less if even if you are not dummy student then we would want that your school commitment is less because in this batch we give a lot of homework and you will require a lot of time to solve that homework all right so keeping these things in mind if you want if you still want to be part of this batch what you need to do uh, there will be a test that will happen on september 4 the timing of the test will be 10 am to 11 am this is the link for the test of course this link you will find in the description of this session also so uh, where you are watching this session right now just scroll down and in the description box you are going to find this link if you don't find this link don't worry this is the qr code you can scan and give this test right now if you scan this qr code you will uh, see a screen where it will ask you where you will see the instructions and there will be option to start the test even if you click on the start the test it will not start it will start at the stipulated uh, time on the stipulated date only all right so you can use the qr code to give the test you can give the you can use the link which is also given in the description box to give the test what else will you need to give the test you must have a login id at vedantu.com that means you must have created you must have signed up at vedantu.com maybe in the past if not do it now it takes less than 2 minute to do that in fact when you begin the test if you have not signed up at vedantu.com yet it will ask you to sign up you can do it immediately do not forget to mention your name your phone number and email id because while signing up you get the option of either using phone number or email id i will request you to use both so that it becomes easier for us to reach out to you sometimes if the student have typed their number incorrectly then even if they have qualified for the test it makes impossible for us to reach out to you because the only method that we had was your phone number which probably you mistyped so ensure that you are providing both the details so that there is no chance of a break in communication all right and begin the test within 15 minutes of the start time so you will be able to use this link and give the test pretty much after 10 p 10 am also like at 10:30 also at 10:45 also 11 also 12 also and late on later dates also you can use this link to give the test at later dates also but we will not consider your result we will consider only those results which uh, the test all the tests that have begin within 15 minute of the start time we are going to consider only those tests all right like we get the uh, time stamp we get uh, that which student started the test when so we will only shortlist from the list of student who have started the test within 15 minutes of start time so based on your performance in the test then we will invite you for an interview all those who are not going to be selected for the interview you will also receive a communication from us through the email that you have not been selected and all those of you who are going to get selected you will receive a communication on, uh, from us on your email and we will also tell you the time and date of your interview all uh, right so uh, we will also post the result on the us yt community so you can there we will display the entire result so you can check your name there uh so from there also you will come to know whether you have been selected or not all right guys so this is regarding the test that we are going to conduct on september 4 i'm not expecting very large participation to be very honest because this batch uh, as it says here it's a super elite batch super elite batch and the test is going to be a tough one all right so just giving you some warning so that you don't get uh you know demotivated if you don't score well in the test because i'm expecting that uh the marks are going to be pretty low and guys please do not cheat because if you cheat we will discover that in the interview all right and if that happens uh make sure that uh, our team is going to blacklist you and you will not be able to join any other batch that we are going to launch subsequently also because we will be launching batch for je also je 2023 the eclave batch all right so we'll blacklist you from that batch also please so please do not try to cheat because we will discover that in the interview all right guys uh so 
that's it guys that's it from my side i came here to announce this only uh i hope to see some of you in the batch so take care students bye bye